I want to take a look in this video at decimals, fractions, and percentage again, but I want to take a look at it in terms of measurement. Um, when we measure, and you can see I've got an imperial ruler here, remember the divisions of measurement on the imperial, on the imperial ruler, these lines are the one quarter inch measurements, and it should make sense to you that there's four quarters in, an, in a whole inch. And then here we have the eighths. And there are eight of those in one inch. And then these smaller ones here, which I'm not going to dot, are the, the little dashes are the sixteenths. So I think it's important here to take a look at to take a look at the quarters, the eighths, and the sixteenths so that we're uh, able to do measurement, um, measurement of objects and some basic conversions. So let's take a look at one quarter. Well one quarter, if we take one quarter and we want to see what decimal one quarter is, four goes into ten two times evenly. Two times four is eight, and now we subtract, we get a two, we carry down the zero, and now four goes into twenty five times. So one quarter, and remember we're talking in terms of, we're using this in terms of measurement here as well, if we have a quarter of an inch, then as a decimal that's point two five. Zero point two five as a decimal. And it would also be, if it's 0 0.25, then it would be 25 percent of an inch. So it's important to know that quarter family. And if a quarter is 0 0.25, then what is three quarters? Well, it should make sense that if one quarter is 0.25, if we times one quarter by three, then we get three quarters. So if we multiply 0 0.25 times three, then we should get the decimal equivalent of three quarters. And three times five is 15. Two, uh, so we write down the five, carry the one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven and three times zero is zero. We have two decimal places in our question, or in our, yeah, question, so we have two decimal places in our answer, and three quarters is then 0 0.75. And you can see here that three quarters of an inch on this ruler is right here. And that's 75 percent of an inch. Now let's carry on and take a quick look because for imperial measurement it's important, it's important to know the quarters and it's important to know about the eighth family and the sixteenth family. So one eighth, and we'll do this quickly here, so eight goes into ten once, one times eight is eight, and we subtract, ten minus eight is two, we bring down the zero. Eight goes into twenty two times. Two times eight is sixteen, and we subtract, and we're left with four, and we bring down the zero, and eight goes into forty five times. Five times eight is forty. We subtract, and you see we get a zero remainder. So one eighth is the same as zero point one two five, which is the same now. 0 0.125 is the same as 12.5 percent. Remember we move the decimal point over two times and then put the percent after it because percent really means divided by 100. So you see an eighth of an inch is around 12 is 12.5 12 percent. So it should give you an idea when you're measuring if you have five eighths, if you have five eighths, what percentage of the inch do you have or the percentage uh, of the foot or whatever it is that you're measuring. And so if one eighth is 12.5, then by the same argument I made here with the one quarters, if one eighth is 
12.5%, then 5 eighths should be 12.5% 12.5% times 5. And 5 times 5 is 25, so we write the 5 and carry the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Write the 2, carry the 1. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6. We have two decimal places here, so we need two decimal places here. And we see that 5 eighths of an inch would be 62.5%. And very quickly, the sixteenths, if we know that one eighth is equal to zero point one two five, I'm going to take another approach with this. If one eighth is equal to zero point one two five, then one sixteenth should be zero point one two five divided by two. A sixteenth is half as much as an eighth because one eighth times one half is equal to one sixteenth. So a sixteenth, you see, is half of an eighth. And so if we take 0 0.125 divided by 2, again making use of our dividing by decimals here, And now we have 2 goes into 12 6 times. 6 times 2 is 12. And we subtract and we get 0. And then we bring down our 5. 2 goes into 5 twice. 2 times 2 is 4. And we write that underneath. And then we subtract. 1 is what we have left. We bring down the 0. And now 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times 2 is 10 minus, and we get a remainder of 0. So 1 16th, 1 16th is equal to 0 0.0625, which is also equal to, move the decimal point over, 2 times 6.25%. So that gives you an idea, especially for the imperial measurement system of the fourths or quarters, the eighths, and the sixteenths, because you'll be using those a lot uh, when you use uh, measurement devices in, in terms of taking measurements and doing conversions.